And hello, welcome everyone to this video. Uh, so in the last video, we actually um, installed LAMPS into our Arch Linux repository. Oh, not Arch. Oh, we actually installed LAMPS from our AUR. So now I want to just do some tidy up and commit this, uh, this uh, Docker image, uh, Docker uh, container into an image. So I assume you know what that means. I'm going to control D out. I'll be landing back in my desktop. I'm going to remove my bash RC file because I have no use for it anymore. Next thing to do is to do sudo docker ps a. I assume again you know that you're uh I assume that you're quite familiar. So let's just do docker commit. Okay. Sudo docker commit. Yeah, I can't remember exactly. Let's just do a dash help here. Options, container, and then repository. So I want this container. Arch Linux. Now put the tag latest. So this will just do a Docker commit. So um, there we are sudo docker images now we'll see arch linux latest is here i can do sudo docker system prune to just do a bit of tidy up okay so uh sudo docker images okay things are tidied up now so let's let's run this arch linux again sudo docker run dash it net equals host environment equals display arch linux latest okay and here we are back in our files and yeah we have uh, committed this docker image all right so now let's let's just focus on installing these extra packages how do you install extra packages okay so um if you look at this uh doc lambs documents uh I will again provide all of this in the description. Uh, the way to do it uh, is to try and understand how CMake works. Okay, because um, to install extra packages, you may you can actually uh, use some CMake presets. So uh, let's let's try and understand uh, how uh, Lambs actually works. Uh, I mean, the CMake install usually works. Okay. What you usually do is to, uh, if we go to our lambs directory, we go to home first, we go to our lambs directory, uh, lambs is here, our lambs directory is inside this source, okay, so this is where our Arch Linux repository package build is, so we can go to source, okay, what we see here is this lamp stable, lamp stable, and this is our lambs directory now normally this build file is missing so before you start building okay building is to like compile code so before you start building uh yeah we have to make our own build folder and then we run cmake from there running cmake is two basic steps okay if you can take a look at the comments here one the first step is to actually change to our lambs distribution directory which is this lamp stable uh, 29 October 2020 for our case and this is to make the directory uh, the build directory so this is the build directory here which we will need to run cmake from there's a just a default okay uh, and then we will need to uh, make a uh, you need to get a cmake configuration script so where's this cmake configuration script uh, cmake configuration script is a uh, probably over here in this cmake folder let's go to the cmake folder and you will see uh, cmake list.txt lambs config cmake.input blah 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 so if we, we can actually take a look at any of this uh, you can see a lot of code here a lot of code is over here to tell uh, cmake what to do and how to build this code okay so it's all automated so the first step is to actually uh, read this uh, script that I just showed you through Vim. So again, 
remember we had this uh, image list of text okay okay so I can quit is this a cmake list of text uh, this is the this is the configuration file so the first step is to actually load it tell cmake to okay I want to use this configuration file so that's what you're actually doing here and then once you load up the configuration file you build you actually run the build command to say okay cmake let's actually um, build our lamps using this configuration file okay so this is how the cmake was being run and that was all automated when we started to do you do our make package from our arch linux repository okay okay but the thing is this the default uh the default cmake file is only a very basic bare bones version of cmake and we want to actually uh uh what do you call that uh we want to actually use uh we want to install extra packages so that we can run our home tutorial farm how do we do that okay we well um you can see that over here in this in this build package uh place uh we can actually specify uh uh what do you call that you can specify a specific uh, cmic configuration file to use okay so um you can see here normally we will use cmic double dot uh, double dot uh, then uh, we'll go to the cmake directory but over here okay uh, what we're going to do to tell cmake to use a specific configuration file that we want is to replace this command i'm highlighting here by one of these commands okay one example of how this is done is over here in this example folder or this example code you go to the the build directory that you make and then you uh tell cmake okay i want to use this uh, cmake file so which cmake file are we using here okay over here we are uh, using we are going to the cmake folder and we are going to presets and then we'll see the most dot cmake let's go to that directory so you can go to presets and we'll see there are lots of uh, cmake files here okay the cmake file we are interested in using is this thing called most.cmake okay so let's take a look at most.cmake and you can see all right um i'm actually building a lot of uh, packages here okay see i set all packages a sphere body blah 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 okay and then we will start to build it up okay so um this script actually tells cmake i want to install all these extra packages okay and if you want to switch on or switch off specific packages we can uh, uh and we can actually tell cmake from the command line which package we want to build and which package we do not want to build for example this thing called package gpu i want uh, if you want to switch it on then you execute the code that i'm highlighting here the d the dash d is uh well if you want to see cmake help okay if you go and type cmake help the dash d file is here to tell you i want to create or update a cmake cache entry the dash c file is to preload a script to populate the cache very technical terms but basically um uh the dash c is to use a specific configuration file the dash d is to kind of edit you know entry by entry uh which file you want to uh install or not okay so for example if we take a look at uh uh most.cmic we will see that there are so many packages here enabled by default now if you don't if you want not to use that uh if you don't want to use that or we or if we want to include extra packages uh without you know i mean if you wanted to install packages how will you do it you actually go to the most cmake file you would manually add in or remove a package or two here that's uh that's one way of doing it or you can uh, just you know uh add this at this d flag from the command line 
And adding this deflect from the command line actually uh, allows you to specify which packages you want to install or not. Okay, so uh, so let's let's try let's try doing this. Okay, I'm going to go to my build directory, and instead of running this command, as I said before, we'll actually uh, cmix. Uh, double dash cmake we can do this the following okay we will use the most preset okay we can actually in, uh, include more than one uh, of these files so we'll use the most preset and we'll also use the no library uh, config file and not only that uh, we can we can do package gpu equals off okay because i'm not using gpu calculations here so um yeah i can tell cmake i don't want this i don't want to install this package okay so what is this cmake okay uh remember normally we we just use cmake and double dot cmake that's the default but these two extra lines of code here or at least these two settings here allow us to tell CMake I want to use this preset and this preset specifically and if I want to turn on and off a specific package for lamps I can use the dash D flag so for example if I want to turn the package GPU off I I um I put in this line of code here or I give it this uh, command okay so this is what I want to do and this will actually uh, load the configuration file for cmake on so this is actually uh, again if you want to take a look this is actually uh, where is it yeah build lamps this is actually this line here so we replace this step with a co more complicated version of this step so that we can tell cmake you know what package we want to make all right so if you run it right correctly you should be able to run all of this without errors and the next step is just to you know cmake build in this directory so cmake build in this directory and then things should start running and this time it will take a lot longer because uh we are installing that many more pack that much more packages now and as usual i will just fast forward this uh, installation process uh, and I'll get back to you when this is almost done or done for that matter and of course after we run the cmake build we can do make install again just to make sure things are built correctly and then uh, we'll try running the examples and we'll call it a day okay so looks like um, it's uh, the installation is complete we only need to run make install to uh, what do you say to make sure all the executable files are inside our uh, user directory so you see user share lamps blah 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 okay and well okay let's let's uh go and try a new file now i mean try the examples so we are going to so we are going to try the the combs file again that we did before okay so i'm going to go to examples and let's go to comb let's try this again because last time we could not do it so remember lmp is how we run it how we run the the what do you call that the lamps uh, executable that's only possible after we do the make install part so lmp with the input file in .com.cu. look it is run it, it has run i guess the reason you choose this is because uh, it's a very fast case to run but that uh, that if your your terminal is outputting this you have run uh lamps successfully now i guess that's all i have oh uh, let's see of course we are only scratching the surface so um i'm not going to i'm not going to continue too much more in this video that will be for the scope of other videos okay so what did we do in the last two videos so far we actually pulled uh, an Arch Linux uh, image from Docker 
okay and then uh, we installed some basic packages uh, next thing we did is to uh, install lamps from the AUR in a very improper manner of course uh, which basically you might as well do it through git because that that's uh that's the manual way of doing it we use cmake to install most of the uh, most of the lamps package because we needed all these extra packages okay um yeah and that's it we are able to run this this combs tutorial and that's all i will touch on in these two videos i don't want to drag it too long uh and yeah i think just want to make it short and sweet so um i'll see you next time uh hopefully you understand what's been going on the logic of why i'm trying to do this and of course this is a very very fast video uh as well as the last one so that uh you can um yeah so that you, know, you so that if you just need a reminder or refresher this is the perfect video to watch all right um anyhow do do look in the description below you will see all the timestamps of which part of the video uh, pertains to what content as well as the useful links that you will see uh, right which you see now on, on the screen what is this arch docker what is this make package arch user repository etc etc so thanks for watching i'll see you again bye bye